Toyota's CEO just revealed their new creation, an engine that runs on hydrogen, which they've actually integrated into their cars. For years, electric vehicles have been the buzz, seen as the next big thing in transportation, promising us cleaner air. But Toyota just came in and took it up a notch with a turbocharged engine. This will not only destroy the competition, it will also change the way we leave the same way oil did. So, let me break it down for you. What exactly did Toyota do? You see, while some companies are laser-focused on electric vehicles, Toyota has boldly charted a different course by harnessing the power of hydrogen. Yeah, the hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe with massive energy potential. The most mind-blowing part, what it releases as exhaust isn't harmful gases, but pure water. That is what is under the hood of the Toyota Corolla Cross H2 concept car, a 1.6-liter three-cylinder turbo engine that runs on hydrogen. This is not done to compete with EV manufacturers. This is about reimagining our future with cars and their environmental footprint. The notion of a car that emits only water could revolutionize how we think about driving and our responsibilities towards the environment. And here is the thing, hydrogen as a fuel isn't just limited to cars. It's already powering buildings, ships, and even trains, showcasing its versatility and reliability as a clean energy source. Toyota's decision to use hydrogen for cars could pave the way for its broader adoption in everyday transportation, but making such engines is so hard. Toyota's engineers had to develop new methods to achieve these changes. It involves redesigning many parts to ensure they work efficiently with hydrogen. They replace the standard fuel injection system with an advanced system that injects hydrogen at high pressure. This system enables the engine to utilize hydrogen effectively, maintaining its performance. But there are actually a lot of things that make this powerhouse unique, so let's break it down further. The Technical Marvel there is one thing that you need to understand to fully grasp why this thing is so incredible. Hydrogen is highly flammable. That is one of the reasons why this thing is hard to make. But Toyota's engineers have developed a robust, secure tanks for safe storage. These tanks are built to be tough and secure enough to ensure that the hydrogen is safely contained. They took inspiration from their previous hydrogen model, the Mirai. Now, the hydrogen tanks in the Corolla Cross H2 might seem small, holding just 5 kilograms of hydrogen, but don't let that fool you. This tiny amount can power the car for about 300 miles. And get this, while the car is running, it only produces water. We're talking about 50 liters from a full tank, but that's not all. Toyota teamed up with Yamaha Motor to craft a powerful V8 engine that runs entirely on hydrogen. Clean and mighty, this engine cranks out an impressive 455 horsepower. When you compare Toyota's hydrogen combustion engine to typical electric vehicles, the advantages are clear. This engine offers a longer driving range and much quicker refueling times. But let's talk about that for a sec, because the difference is actually night and day. EV vs H2 First things first, range anxiety. Hydrogen cars can boast impressive range capabilities, often exceeding 300 miles on a single tank. This long-distance prowess makes them well-suited for heavy-duty transportation, such as long-haul trucking and commercial fleets. Refueling a hydrogen vehicle takes only a few minutes, comparable to the quick pit stops associated with traditional gasoline-powered cars, which is something a lot of EV owners have complained about. The charging infrastructure for EVs is rapidly expanding, but the charging process itself can be a time-consuming affair, often taking 30 minutes or more to achieve a meaningful charge, especially for long-distance travel. Sure, there are some improvements, but the inherent limitations of battery technology still pose a challenge in matching the refueling convenience of hydrogen. Plus, while the range of EVs has steadily improved, with models like the Tesla Model S reaching around 370 miles, that is way behind the hydrogen-powered ones. But that's not all. Hydrogen-powered vehicles, particularly heavy-duty trucks, excel in raw power and torque output. The instantaneous torque delivery of hydrogen fuel cells delivers impressive acceleration and the ability to haul substantial loads with ease even on steep inclines. And don't get me wrong, the exhilarating performance of EVs is undeniable, with instant torque delivery from their electric motors propelling them forward with lightning-fast acceleration. Models like the Tesla Model 3 can sprint from 0 to 60 in under 4 seconds, leaving onlookers in awe. However, the long-term performance of EVs can face challenges related to battery degradation, as the lithium-ion batteries powering these vehicles can experience a gradual decline in capacity and power output over time. 
which is a win for hydrogen. But to choose FCVs over EVs, the limited availability of hydrogen refueling stations nationwide remains a significant hurdle, with only a few hundred public stations dotting the landscape, primarily concentrated in select regions. But this is only because it's not commercialized yet. EV charging stations were the same, and let's be honest, we still haven't built enough of them. And when you think about it, hydrogen is found almost everywhere. The only determining factor would be how they would gather this fuel. But we should talk about this in detail, so watch carefully. How is it harnessed? At the heart of this hydrogen revolution are two main technologies, fuel cells and internal combustion engines. The first one is called fuel cell power. Imagine a miniature power plant tucked away under your car's hood. That's essentially what this is. Inside the fuel cell, hydrogen molecules meet oxygen from the air, and a catalyst separates the hydrogen into protons and electrons. It sounds complicated, but it isn't. The electrons flow through an external circuit, generating electricity. That's the power that propels your car. Protons combine with oxygen on the other side of the cell, producing nothing but water vapor, the cleanest exhaust imaginable. This electrochemical process directly converts the chemical energy of hydrogen into electrical energy, making fuel cells incredibly efficient, typically 40 to 60% more so than conventional engines. But for those who love the roar of an engine, there is another option, the hydrogen internal combustion engine. This one works similarly to a gasoline engine, but with a twist. Gaseous hydrogen is injected into the engine cylinders, replacing gasoline. A spark plug ignites the hydrogen-air mixture, creating a controlled explosion that pushes the pistons down. This reciprocating motion then translates into power that drives the wheels, just like a conventional engine. The key advantage of hydrogen internal combustion engines is their ability to leverage existing infrastructure and manufacturing processes. Automakers can easily adapt their current designs to accommodate hydrogen fuel, making the transition smoother. Additionally, these engines can provide a familiar driving experience for those accustomed to traditional gas-powered vehicles. However, the trade-off is a slightly lower efficiency compared to fuel cells, as the combustion process inherently involves some energy loss. So, which one is better? Well, both fuel cells and internal combustion engines have their strengths and weaknesses. Fuel cells offer superior efficiency and zero emissions, making them ideal for eco-conscious drivers. But the limited hydrogen refueling infrastructure remains a significant barrier. Internal combustion engines, on the other hand, can tap into existing infrastructure, though they may have slightly lower efficiency. The good news? Both technologies are under continuous development, and the future of hydrogen-powered vehicles is looking increasingly promising. Additionally, advancements in hybrid and plug-in hybrid technologies are blending the best of both worlds, offering a versatile and adaptable sustainable mobility solution. As hydrogen production methods become more efficient and the refueling network expands, the advantages of hydrogen engines may become even more pronounced, which is pretty cool, but there are certain things you need to know. Challenges of getting hydrogen One of the biggest roadblocks is something dubbed clean fuel dirty production. The process of actually producing hydrogen often relies on fossil fuels, creating a bit of a catch-22. The majority of hydrogen today comes from a process called steam reforming of natural gas. This method is certainly efficient, but it has one major downside. It generates a whole lot of carbon dioxide as a byproduct. And that CO2 just sort of cancels out all the clean burning benefits of the hydrogen itself. Talk about shooting yourself in the foot. But there's hope on the horizon. Researchers across the globe are working hard to crack the code on a cleaner way to produce hydrogen through a process called electrolysis. This baby uses electricity to split water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. If that electricity comes from renewable sources like wind, solar, or hydropower, then the whole hydrogen production train becomes as clean and green as can be. The only catch? Electrolysis is still in its early stages. While the technology is proven, making it cost-effective and scaling it up for larger production, that's the real challenge. It's like having the blueprint for the most amazing engine ever, but needing to figure out how to mass-produce it efficiently and affordably. Now, where does all this leave us? Well, hydrogen has this incredible potential as a clean fuel source, especially for those hard-to-electrify appliances like long-haul trucking, heavy machinery, or even aviation. But in order to truly unlock that potential, we've got to solve the production efficiency riddle. And that's not even the whole issue with this. 
There is more where that came from. Technical issues Have you heard of a phenomenon called pre-ignition, where the fuel fires off before it's supposed to, causing the engine to run rough and inefficiently? This can happen in a hydrogen engine, because hydrogen has low ignition energy compared to good old gasoline. Another major headache is hydrogen storage. Being the lightest element in the universe, hydrogen has remarkably low energy density by volume. That means you need a massive tank in your car to store the same amount of energy as a regular gas tank. This can seriously limit the driving range of hydrogen vehicles, which can also be a deal-breaker for some consumers, dealing with the all-too-familiar range anxiety. And since you're talking about technical challenges, let's not forget about the infrastructure challenge. For hydrogen cars to truly take off, we'll need a widespread network of fueling stations across the country. And it's really expensive to build one. Currently, these hydrogen-powered cars come with a substantially higher price tag than their gasoline or electric counterparts. This hefty premium stems from two primary factors, the complex engineering and the cost of the hydrogen fuel itself. Building an FCV is akin to housing a miniature chemistry lab under the hood. Think about it. This intricate process involves hydrogen gas reacting with oxygen from the air within a fuel cell generating electricity that powers the car's electric motor. It's an impressive feat of engineering, but all those intricate components come at a steep price. Beyond the car's initial costs, the hydrogen fuel itself is not exactly a budget-friendly option. While hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe, extracting usable hydrogen requires substantial energy input. These factors combine to make filling up with hydrogen a significantly more expensive proposition than a traditional tank of gasoline. So what does this mean for the future? Yeah, there are a lot of issues and challenges to overcome, but Toyota's vision is clear. By 2025, they aim to have 200,000 hydrogen-powered vehicles on the road, and by 2030, 800,000. It's ambitious, but if anyone can pull it off, it's Toyota. Sure, there are challenges. Producing hydrogen sustainably and building the necessary infrastructure are big hurdles. A lot of big entities are going all in, and they're not backing down anytime soon. Japan, for instance, has laid out an ambitious plan to transform the country into a hydrogen society society by 2050, investing billions to develop the infrastructure and support the technology. And in the US, California has emerged as a hotbed of hydrogen car development, with a growing network of fueling stations that are serving as a model for the rest of the country. This shouldn't be a surprise once you start to look at the benefits. It's a promising way to slash pollution, but it also raises questions about how ready we are for such a transition. The technology is still in testing phases and not fully market ready. Even once it is, it may take time for consumers to trust and adopt these new engines. Think of it as the latest smartphone. Everyone's curious, but not everyone's ready to make the switch immediately. And here is the thing. People have been trying to achieve this for a long time. Past trials. Let me take you back in time when Napoleon Bonaparte reigned supreme, and it was still 1806. Meet Francois Isaac de Rivas, a Swiss inventor with a clear vision for a cleaner future. He creates what many consider to be the first internal combustion engine, fueled not by gasoline, but by a daring combination – hydrogen and oxygen. This groundbreaking invention, later dubbed the de Rivas engine, laid the foundation for what we now know as the hydrogen car. But de Rivas wasn't done just yet. One year later, he built a vehicle powered by his hydrogen engine, marking the birth of the first ever hydrogen-powered car. However, this early iteration wasn't exactly a smooth ride. It was more like a lawnmower than a sleek automobile. Despite its limitations, de Rivas's work planted a crucial seed in the garden of automotive innovation. Fast forward to the mid-1800s, when the world was undergoing an industrial revolution and the hunger for new forms of transportation was insatiable. Enter Etienne Lenoir, a Belgian inventor who steps onto the scene with his creation, the Hippomobile. This three-wheeled marvel, christened with a name that translates to horseless carriage, was the first functional hydrogen car. While the Hippomobile wasn't exactly a speed demon, it did manage to rack up sales of around 350 vehicles, a testament to the growing interest in alternative fuels. Lenoir's brilliance lay in his use of electrolysis, the process we just talked about earlier. But despite the early promise of hydrogen, the late 19th century saw the rise of a new contender, the gasoline engine. This more readily available and powerful option quickly captured the market, leaving hydrogen on the back burner. And I'm pretty sure we all know the rest of the history. We all just dove headfirst into it. Don't get me wrong, there were other trials too, so let's talk about those ones and the new Toyota car. Toyota's Hydrogen Cars 
As of now, there are three main contenders in the hydrogen car arena. All of them use fuel cells that combine hydrogen and oxygen to generate electricity, powering the electric motor and producing nothing but water vapor as a byproduct. So let's dive a little deeper and pop the hood on each of these hydrogen-powered marvels. First up is the Toyota Mirai. This sleek sedan boasts an impressive range of around 400 miles on a single tank. Imagine cruising from Los Angeles to San Diego without a single gas station stop. That's the kind of freedom the Mirai offers. And get this, it refuels in just 5 minutes, which is about the same time it takes to fill up a conventional car. Talk about convenience. The Mirai's impressive performance and efficiency are a testament to Toyota's expertise in alternative fuel technologies, solidifying the brand's reputation as a true pioneer in the hydrogen car market. But the Mirai isn't the only hydrogen hero in town. The Hyundai Nexo, a handsome and capable SUV, joins the party with a competitive range of almost 375 miles. It's like having a spacious, eco-friendly chariot that can conquer both city streets and weekend adventures. Hyundai's Nexo demonstrates the versatility of hydrogen-powered vehicles, appealing to a wide range of consumers who seek both environmental responsibility and practical utility. And let's not forget the Honda Clarity fuel cell, which may have ceased production recently, but still deserves a shout-out for paving the way for future hydrogen cars. This model played a crucial role in raising awareness and garnering interest in the hydrogen car segment, laying the groundwork for the advancements we see today. In the United States, for instance, the Department of Energy has committed a staggering $8 billion to the development of a nationwide network of hydrogen refueling stations, with the goal of creating a more accessible and user-friendly experience for hydrogen car owners. Similarly, in Europe, initiatives like the Hydrogen Mobility Europe or H2ME project are working tirelessly to establish a comprehensive hydrogen refueling infrastructure across the continent. So the next time you're considering a new car, keep a close eye on the hydrogen scene. You might just find yourself cruising down the road with a hydrogen buzz in no time, leaving a trail of clean water vapor and a sense of pride in your eco-friendly choice. In my opinion, that is such an amazing thing to even think about. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next video.